Last week in our series of the Armor of God, we talked about the Bell of Truth and how important it is to hold our armor. Today we will be talking about the Breastplate of Righteousness and how it defends our heart from the devil and its evil darkness. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 calls on believers to put on the whole armor of God to stand firm against the attacks from the devil and his evil darkness. Verses 14 through 17 says, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows from the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit with which is the word of God. This is recognized as like a Roman soldier ready for battle. An average Roman soldier wore a breastplate made of bronze. It would help protect the inner organs of the chest and stomach, mainly the heart. It was fitted with a buckle attached to a thick belt. If the belt was loose, then the breastplate would easily slip off. When Paul compares the armor of God with a Roman soldier's armor, each piece represents a part of God's strength that he gives us when we become his children. The breastplate of righteousness is referred to the righteousness paid for us from Jesus at the cross. At salvation, a breastplate is issued to each sinner. It is specially designed by God to defend our hearts and soul from the devil. Our own salvation is no match for the devil's attacks. The breastplate of righteousness has God's name stamped on it as though he says, Wear my righteousness, as your righteousness is not strong enough to protect your heart. Wearing the armor of God requires a decision on our part. To put on the breastplate of righteousness, we must first put on the belt of truth firmly in place. Without truth, righteousness will be based on our own, trying to impress God. This leads to self-condemnation. We choose instead to know that apart from God, we are useless. We see ourselves as in God, and regardless of our failures, His righteousness has been credited to ourselves. We put it on by seeking God and His righteousness above everything else. We make Him and His way our center place. We are delighted in His command and desire for His way to become ours too. When God sees an area in us to change, we do so and allow Him to work in us. When we ignore God, a little crack opens in the armor where the devil's darkness can get through. As we wear the breastplate of righteousness, we start to grow purity of love that translates into action. Wearing the breastplate creates a lifestyle of putting into practice. We must practice becoming more of God's image. Doing this, our choices become more righteous and protects us from future temptations. When armor is abused or not worn right, it will not help protect us. Likewise, there are many factors that can interfere with the protection of our spiritual breastplate. Factors such as carelessness, unbelief, abuse of grace, or disobedience can get in the way of our abilities to stand firm and defeat the devil in our lives. When we tolerate sin, refuse forgiveness, or rely on self-righteousness, we are taken off the breastplate of righteousness. We need God's righteousness to take victory of this battle. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 15 says, we are destroying speculation and every loathing thing raised up against the knowledge of God. We are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. When we turn down sinful ideas and false idols and keep our eyes on Christ, our breastplate will stay fastened into place and protect us in this spiritual battle. We thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you next time as we talk about the shoes of the gospel.